Well, today I want to try something different. I'm going to give you a tour of the coin shop, and I'm going to show you some of our inventory, and then I'm going to cover some questions that people ask me when they come in the shop, some of the most often questions, as well as uh, show you how we do some things. So stay tuned. Well, when you come to our coin shop, this is what you'll see. This is the front of the building and our sign. And there's our windows. And then you go in and we have a door chime that you that we know when someone walks in. And we have a waiting area here with some magazines. Um, also, we have a little display up here with some state quarters in it. And then over here we have our cases and we have graded coins as well and these here are our carded coins and we have type coins we have copper rounds and the silver rounds and yeah we have some of those fake trump dollars and we have some odds and ends that you can pick out and look through as well as some you know, GSA Morgans and some more carded like cents and Indian cents. And some more carded coins anywhere from, like I said, the nickels and dimes to quarters, half dollars. Um, so you've got your peace dollars here and half dollars, Walking Liberties and Franklin half dollars. We have most dates and mints. Uh, we also have sets and proof sets and we had, do have more inventory of course in the back and we try to bring it out and put it out here take it to the shows with us then when you go back out we have what we call our employee entrance and, we, and that brings us back here to the area where we have another little waiting area this is kind of our private area in case uh, somebody wants to sell a collection to us and they want more privacy. Um, we actually have a stack of books and supplies here and that's a little jumbled there. But uh, here we've got our supply cabinet, we have our red books, different things like that. We have you know, other supplies. We do have other albums and things. We've got other supplies and yeah, there's our snacks for lunch right over there. And of course, this is where I do videos. Got a little jumbled mess there on my desk and my little library. A lot of you recognize that from the videos. But that's pretty much uh, what the coin shop looks like here. Then you come to the area whenever someone walks in, uh, we hear the chime. And here's our shelf. We have a little bit of supplies there. But this is our cases from behind. And this is kind of what we see when we look out here. One of the things. To note, though, we do have a big screen computer up here, and we actually will look up values and show people values. We'll look up sold coin auctions, like on eBay or Heritage or Stacks and Bowers. Um, you know, obviously, we've got a gray sheet we keep up here. Um, we've got our silver slide, but of course, we have a Sigma as well. So, Sigma X rays it uh, as far as bullion that comes in the door. That's basically what you have as far as our coin shop's concerned. So that's pretty much the layout of the shop. Uh, we've got complete collections of various types like Washington Quarters or Lincoln Cents. I think we sold our last 1909 SVDB, but we've got other coins. We're always buying, we're always trading and selling and things like that. We've got a little bit of bullion, you know, as I showed you, wheat cents in bags, you know, different things. We're just a, basically a regular coin shop. You know, we handle any collection of any size. We appraise any collection of any size. We look through people's coins. Uh, you know, we give them a fair market value for their coins. We tell them what we sell them for, and then we also tell them what we'll pay for it. And, you know, one of the questions that you get asked a lot, and there, there are a few questions, but some of them pop up often, kind of like a pattern for customers. They want to know, what's the most expensive coin that you have in your coin shop? Well, that can vary because on any given day, we could have ordered one or bought one for a customer or someone that walked in the door. So it could be one day it could be one coin and another day it could be another coin. But as far as the most expensive coin we have in the shop at the moment, it would be this one right here. 
This is an 1805 cat bust, and it is a gold $5. It's repaired, extra fine details. You know, it's in the four to $5,000 ranges. So, you know, that's our most expensive coin that we have in house right now. Um, you know, we have other coins that are worth a little bit of money. We've got like 16D Mercury Dime and coins like that. And then you also have people asking, well, what's the best thing to invest in? You know, as far as silver is concerned or, or gold. And, you know, and I tell them, I said, look, you know, if you can get gold close to melt when we're selling it, that's a good investment. If you want something that has a little bit of a premium, stick with the Indian head designs, you know, as far as the gold's concerned. If you're looking for bullion, uh, I, I recommend buying constitutional silver at close to melt or at melt if you can, uh, the dimes and the quarters, because you don't pay that premium you do on the bullion silver. It's not pretty, but it's definitely a better value overall when it comes to your silver and your buying power. Um, you know, also you get lots of the different questions. People think that because you own a coin shop and you got coins that you have a lot of money. You know, I'm here to tell you that, you know, as far as being in a coin shop is concerned, you do make some money and sometimes you make some good licks and it make you a little extra money. But, you know, overall, you know, you're not really making it rich in a small coin shop. You know, the larger coin shops, you might be moving a lot more money, uh, moving a lot more uh, gross uh, as far as sales concerned, uh, higher dollar coins, buying gold, scrap gold and silver and things. We don't buy scrap gold and silver out of our shop here. We're just coins and currency only and we do appraisals and a little bit of consulting and things like that. And that's pretty much what, what we do. And as and far as we go to coin shows, you know, a lot of people ask us, you know, do we go to coin shows and where are they at and that kind of thing. We definitely go to coin shows and we buy off dealers from up north to the larger cities and we can actually bring it down here and sell it. You know, so we pay just as much as they do, if not more than what they're paying. Um, yeah, obviously someone can come into our shop and they can get an appraisal, take it all the way up to Columbus or take it to Cincinnati or they can take it to a larger dealer and that larger dealer is going to beat us. They're going to beat us because it's competition. But over and end all, we do pay as much, if not more, than some of the larger city dealers. Uh, you know, that's, a, that's another thing. It's a misconception. You know, if we can do it and we can make some money on it, we're going to pay it. Uh, we want to buy the coins that are in our area. Uh, that is our goal. You know, that's the whole reason to stay in business uh, is to be able to buy and sell the coins and fill collections. Um, and a lot of people ask us, you know, well, if you don't have it in here, then how can I get it? You know, we'll actually take a list and take your number. Uh, we'll look for the coin for you when we go to the shows or when it comes in the door, we'll give you a call and say, hey, we got your coin. Um, I text a lot of our customers that we have, our regulars, and I'll text them pictures of coins, uh, send it to them, and they'll tell me yay or nay on whether they want to buy it or not, you know, and the pricing. You know, I actually started the coin shop back in uh, 2017 in January. Before that, I was part-time and I was online mostly, and I would sell coins and buy coins locally. Um, you know, I, like I said, I started it from scratch. I mean, I pretty much zero. I did have an employer when I started it, and he wanted me to open up the shop and buy and sell. And he kind of lost a little bit of interest in it as time went on, and I kind of wanted to do it myself. So me and my partner, we went in and we bought it out. And we've been running that uh, since March of 2018. It's been our shop. Yeah, so we've done pretty well. Uh, we do a lot of business. We have a lot of foot traffic that come in, in the door. And a lot of regular customers that we build up. Of course, the online has really increased. That helps. We have a website you can buy from, that kind of thing. It's PortsmouthCoinShop.com. But anyways, it's... Pretty much how uh, coin shops are ran, uh, you know, people walk in the door and we go through their coins, uh, look through them, uh, tell them what their uh, values are. We show them on, uh, as far as on the screen, we have a lot of people coming in saying, hey, I looked it up on the internet and it's got worth a lot of money. It's worth two or $300 or $1,000, whatever. And we have to, you know, look, pull it up on the computer and, and ask them what search they look for. Or, Let me see your phone. What would you do? And a lot of times they're looking at the ads, like Etsy ads. They're looking at ads that are on uh, other websites where someone's trying to sell a coin for a lot of money. So we show them how to look for sold auctions. And we do use eBay a lot because eBay is quicker. It's really fast to look. And typically, if you're going to sell a coin, you're probably going to sell it on eBay because that's where you're going to get the most money for it. And it's just easier for a person who owns coins to sell there. So kind of in a nutshell, that's how we do things here. Like I said, we got resources here and books, and then we got the whole Internet at our disposal. Um, are completely undis we undisclosed. There's nothing that is secret. There's nothing that we hide from people. We don't try to tell people their stuff's damaged if it's not. We don't tell people they're not 
errors if they're not so that we can buy them cheaper or tell them they're fake so we can buy them. You know, we don't buy fakes. Once we tell someone that their coins are fake, we do not want to buy them. We don't ask for them. You know, that's one of the key things to, to in a coin shop. We, we, our name is worth more than the money that we're going to make or potential profit. So, hey, that's our coin shop here at Portion Coin to Currency. Um, you know, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully, maybe it opened, uh, give you some insight into what we do. If you have more questions and comments, please ask. I can do another video on some of the questions. So please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.